In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a special little route concept that you can use that is really, really good against Mabel coverage, in particular, a specific type of Mabel coverage, and that's the 25, five and five, that is really popular in Weekend League and online. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies on the channel. Now in this video, we're gonna be going over this play out of the trips tied in in the New England Patriots playbook. And the play we're gonna be covering is PA slot corner. And we're really primarily calling this for really only one route. Um, you can actually use uh, Hot Route Master to create some other concepts as well, but we're really wanting to emphasize the post route on the left side of the field. Now, before we get too far into this, I did want to let you know that I actually have an entire offensive guide on the trips tied in that you can get in the description for just 10 bucks. It's a great deal and it's a great guide. It's going to help you understand all of these concepts in a ton of detail. And then the other thing that I want to let you know is if you want to get, uh, I'm actually getting ready to do a major trips tight end offensive update in my true fan membership for my true fan members. So if you're not a true fan yet, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. You can get that. You get access to exclusive videos every single week that we don't share on our public YouTube channel. It's a great space for me to be able to go in depth and a little bit more high level. So if you want to get access to all of that stuff, there's going to be a link in the description for you to get that. Every week you get exclusive defensive and offensive tips, and you also get a pro player film study. So the play we're going over is PA slot corner. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up the traditional Mabel. So most people play Mabel like this. Okay, most people are going to play it essentially like this right here. They're going to probably use her so they're like something like this, right? This is kind of the defense that we're wanting to look at, at, at how to beat. We're going to put the vertical hook on the left, and then we're going to basically use her this tight end. You want to force them to have to use her this tight end streak. And so the way that you can do this um, is through just simple hot routes. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the square receiver on this play on a curl. We're going to put the circle receiver on a hitch. We're going to smart route the triangle receiver just like this. You'll see it's going to get him to go a little bit deeper. And then what we're going to do um, is, is kind of up to you. Uh, we could take the running back and we can put him on a option route. We can smart route the corner route if we wanted to do that. We could also streak and wheel. I personally think the streak and wheel will get you a little bit better spacing um, and a little bit just more. It'll force them to really have to go up the seam with the tight end, which is going to then naturally open up this post route that we're trying to hit. But this is pretty much all we're going to do. And what you're going to see here is once we snap the ball, you should see that this triangle receiver is going to get right underneath that deep blue as an easy read. Now, what I the reason I like this, this concept so much is because of where the user is. So more than likely, again, more than likely, they're going to be standing right here. And once they see the tight end streak, once you pop the tight end streak, and that's why it's real, your first read is your tight end. Can you throw the tight end, right? And if you can throw the tight end, then throw it. Right at the seam, easy read, just quick throw, okay? Now, the window, you, you really have to watch. Like, it's like really, really important. I can't express how important this is. You really need to watch where their user is. So if their user is over here, or like over in this area right here, let's say, that's where you really wanna capitalize on this right side. So you can do a wheel streak. Another concept that you can do that's really, really good as well is you could do this, where you smart route the X and you streak the R1. And the reason why this is so good is this is really unexpected. And you'll see that this R1 route gets wide open. The other reason I really like to do it this way is because of what this can do to cover three. So if they're running a cover three, they normally probably think that this outside third is gonna kind of come down on the corner so that they're free to kind of come and use her over in this area, take away that post route. What's cool about this is because you're street, uh, whoops, um, because you're streaking the running back, it basically will tell the cover three guy that he has to guard the running back. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna open this window, massive window on the outside to be able to throw the corner. Just like that, very simple and very easy. So, so then what they might do is they might do something like this on the right side where essentially they're playing cover two on the right and they're playing cover three 
on the left side, right? Pretty popular concept. Well, again, if you think about it, if we run that simple play, then what you're gonna see is, if you watch this corner around on the right, you're gonna see that this cloud flat is going to really pull to the outside. The beauty of this is a massive pocket that you can now hit the running back streak. So now let's say, well, okay, let's say they were wise to that, and so they're gonna use her the running back streak. So maybe they're gonna stand like right in here, they're gonna do, you know, the kind of this number, and they're gonna drop their user kind of back into this zone. Um, what that's gonna, and, and then maybe they have like a vertical hook over here, right? We've talked a little bit about how to, how to deal with this, but let's say they have a concept or a coverage just like this right here. This is where these uh, underneath zones or these underneath routes are so good. So you've created this concept right here. And now if you watch this triangle receiver, the yellow zone's not gonna cover him. Easy read, easy money. It's gonna get underneath that outside third every single time. And so what you basically have now created for yourself is a levels concept. Now, let's talk a little bit about cover two man. Now, I don't typically call this against cover two man, but you could, honestly. Um, if you read man coverage, I would take the running back and put him on an option route. I just think it's better, but you could still streak him if you wanted to, okay? And it will show you, if you streak him, you know, then you're gonna, again, continue to open up this window. The triangle route beats man coverage really easily. And so you're gonna have a nice, really clean, really just a simple clean play. Um, another thing is let's say that they, let's say that they do like multiple yellow zones in the middle of the field. Well, the beauty of this and the beauty of zone drops and the way that we're gonna force them to have to play is they have to choose. Do they wanna stop the hitch or do they wanna stop the post? If they're underneath on the hitch like they are right there, then we're just throwing that post in behind it. It's really simple, but it's really, really effective. And the cool part about it is because the hitch is first, they kind of naturally won't expect a post. Typically what they're gonna do, and I'm just telling you, typically what they're gonna do is they're gonna take a jab step and they might honestly come down here themselves and essentially use the hitch. And if they do that, again, number one, you have this whole right side that you're gonna be able to work. But also, if they sit on the hitch, wait on it a little bit and throw this route. Another thing they'll typically do is they'll they'll kind of leave the hitch. So maybe they're running a traditional Mabel coverage and they just leave the hitch basically and they go to the post. Again, same thing. This is a really good play because it forces them to get, you know, kind of just run some different concepts. So you see here, oh, hitch is wide open, easy read, easy money. Now let's just assume that they're able to stop the streak to the running back. The corner route. Let's let's just assume they're able to stop everything. So maybe they maybe they get really adjusty and they put they man them up and they do all this stuff. What I really like about this play is the fact that we have a really nice double curl concept on the backside. So uh, it allows us the flexibility to have a really simple double curl. The double curl concept is super underrated this year. You're going to see that the square receiver, especially against zone drops, is still going to get wide open. It doesn't even need a flat zone to get open. So as you can see, it's really easy to move the ball and really just simple yard gainer that you're going to be able to use to kind of force the user to have to start um, or to have to use her the, the right side of the field first because what their tendency is gonna be is to forget about the tight end. The tight end is probably the most important receiver in Trips tight end, and this is a way that you can kind of use him and the running back to really kind of challenge some of the natural concepts that they're gonna use. So thanks for watching this video, and if you wanna become a true fan member of my channel and get my entire uh, ma exclusive material that we don't share publicly, I would encourage you to sign up for that. It's the best, 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 best deal um, in Madden right now. It's five bucks and it gets you access to the best material in the game. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900.